Hi everyone, this is Steve from RC Boat Company. Today I'm going to show you my SG118 hull. It builds a T2 Miss Budweiser and a T3 Miss Budweiser. This hull is going to be is all carbon fiber. And a couple of changes I did another video with this one early, early on. This is a Bill Fritz original hull. And what I did was I made the cowling a one-piece cowling. Uh, before, the way it was set up. The cowling stopped right here at the cockpit, and you actually used a Lexan canopy to make the front part of the cockpit. So now, made this a little bit, I feel it's a little bit better with a one piece cowling. You could pin the front here, put the cowling in, and put uh, locks on the back, and it would make a much better fit for the cowling and easier to assemble. Okay, I'm going to talk about now the parts that come standard with this hull kit. The Lexan cover, which I talked about that you can do the radio box or fuel compartment or battery box. So it's a Lexan cover. The parts that go up front, carbon fiber tray. And this here is a Lexan driver. You can cut him to fit. And you paint the back side of him and you would mount glue him on the inside. You'd use a canopy glue because it dries clear. You also use a canopy glue for the Lexan canopy that goes that comes with it with the hull as well. And you cut and fit that in there. You can just use scissors to cut this. And I also recommend to get uh, from David Newton's website. You can get the paint plans and it'll kind of give you the idea of how to cut out the windshield to the real boat that you're building. So the other parts that come with this hull kit is the wing set. You're going to get the uprights and the horizontal wings. So there's four pieces there and two pieces, and these get epoxy together. Also, I uh, recommend you put in foam inside here so when they do come off the boat, uh, they float. That's really important. The other parts that you're going to get, this is called the turbine tray, which fits in the back of the boat. Uh, most of the boats. Uh, we'll run this. There's a couple of boats that are running today. They don't use this as a turbine shroud that would get mounted there. You cut the back side of it out, cut the front side. Uh, some guys run their tomb pipe through it. And then the other part, early on the Budweiser team used this turbine tube. Uh, I also sell another turbine tube for this haul. If you're building a different boat, they, since they shortened this up, so there's another style, but depending on what boat you're building, this the, it will, I will have one that goes standard with your hull. And on the front of the hull, up here, there's a 3 8 carbon fiber rod, and these are your front canards that get mounted up front here of the boat. But just note, the, the little tabs that go on the back are, do not come with it. You'll have to make them out of wood or whatever material that you want to. So, but that's, will mount to the front. And then an optional, if you want, they ran a saltwater snorkel in San Diego and other races. And that was when the boat get up on a plane that the saltwater didn't get into the turbine motor. And that gets mounted on here. Uh, another thing you're gonna notice that this is like a light green, and this is a different color. As the epoxy dries it, you know, it'll turn different colors, but this is light green. The reason it's light green, I left it that way purposely, uh, I put a, in the molds, I use a PVA, which is a mold release. So you just use regular water with a little bit of soap. This will come right off. Um, you don't have to sand it off or anything. It'll just come off. I did another video, so if you check my channel, you'll see how I just wash that off of there. On all my wing hull kits, I use the carbon fiber wing mount so you can mount your wings to them. You can tell they're a little bit high, um, but you can cut these wings down if you like, if you don't want them that high. I always feel it's better to be a little bit taller and let you cut them to, to the size you want them. Uh, they're epoxy to the bottom of the hull and to the top of the hull, so these are really strong. They'll, they'll never come out. Uh, I recommend 440 nylon screws. The reason being for that is, is once you mount them, if somebody hits you from behind, you blow over, the 440 screw will break away and keeping your wing uh, intact. Also, since we're talking about the back of the boat here, 
the rear shoes, this is an extension that's on here. Uh, different years, uh, they did different things back here. Um, I have photographs on my website. You can email me and ask me, depending on what boat you're building, uh, I can send you pictures and show you what they did. Uh, I can build it without these on there. And, and, they, and you can add other extensions, which were just like square and so forth. So uh, just email me if you got any questions about that. Also on all my hull kits, I use quarter inch aluminum for the turn fin bracket. This is epoxied in place inside the hull when I'm building it. So when you're mounting your turn fin bracket, you drill and tap into it and you'll be drilling and tapping into a piece of aluminum that's gonna be really strong. Another thing with the hull now, I used to make engine compartments for this hull kit. Uh, they no longer make the fuel tanks that the fuel compartments I would make for this boat. So now it's just gonna be solid without those fuel compartments. Um, you can still cut these out and you could build your own fuel compartment to put fuel tanks in there. Or if you're doing an electric boat, you can use the inside, cut it out and also put batteries here. On the front part of the uh, cockpit here, which is the same, has a Lexan cover and this part will come solid when you get the boat. And I recommend you cut an eighth inch or a quarter inch around, leaving enough lip here so that Lexan canopy can fit on there. You can put a fuel tank up here. You can do a radio box up here. You can put batteries up here. So however you're doing this build, uh, that's a, a, another option for this haul. I hope you enjoyed the video. We gave you a little bit more information about this haul kit. If you have any questions, please email me at info at rcboatcompany.com. That's the best way to get to me uh, with your questions. If you want to purchase the hull, uh, just send me an email. Tell me what boat you want to build. As you'll see on my page, I put I list the master hull numbers of the boat. Uh, there's the name of the boat. And if you click on the name, you can see a photograph of the actual boat. So just to give you an idea, when this boat came out in 1990, it was red, white, and gold, had stripes on everything. And 1994, it was painted all red. So uh, it's the same boat, but a different paint job. Uh, it also, later on, they took the tiplets off of it. I can build this boat without the rear tiplets. So there's, there's a lot of different options. Uh, like I said, any questions you have, email me. See you guys at the lake. Thanks for watching.